Hello. Welcome in the new video with the next point. The point here we are going to see the Hitler's rise to power. In the earlier point, we have studied what were the backgrounds on the economic and political basis to rise the Hitler in the Germany. Now here first we will see the background of the Hitler who he was from where he came in the Germany. That answers we will see in this point. This is the picture you are looking on the screen. This is the picture of great dictator Hitler, Adolf Hitler. Adolf Hitler born in Austria. The Austria is a country in the Europe continent. So in the Europe continent, the Austria is here. And in the Austria, he born in 1889. Then he joined to the army. When first world war broke out that time, he joined to the army. Actually, Hitler spent his youth in poverty. When the first world war broke out, he enrolled for the army, acted as a messenger in the front. He worked in the war as a messenger, gave a message from here to there on the front and became a corporal, very humble, polite for his work. So cause of his nature, politeness, his corporal nature, he earned many medals of bravery. Hitler then, after ending war, came in the Germany. The German defeat horrified him. The defeat which taken place, it horrified him. The Treaty of Versailles made him furious. Furious, very angry. He got very angry with the Treaty of Versailles. In 1919, he joined a small group called the German Workers' Party. After finishing the war, in 1919, he, Hitler, joined a small group. The group was called, was named as the German Workers' Party. He subsequently took over the organization. In the course of time, hand in hand, he took over the organization and renamed it as the National Socialist German Workers. In 1919, he joined the German Workers' Party and renamed it as the National Socialist German Party. Later on, this party is known as the Nazi Party. You can look here. In 1919, he joined this party and took over this party subsequently. It renamed as the National Socialist German Workers Party. In short, it known as the Nazi Party. So it was the starting of the background of the Hitler in the Germany. Now, how he moved toward the next part, we will see here. What actions he taken to come into power, we will see. In 1923, Hitler planned to seize control of Bavaria, seize to acquire power. So he wanted to control on the Bavaria. He marched to Berlin to capture the power, but he didn't get the success to reach to the Berlin. He failed. He was arrested and tried for treason. Treason, the act against the nation. And later released. Later on, he released. The Nazi could not effectively mobilize popular support till the early 1930s. Till 1930s, it was not possible to the Nazi to move to mobilize support by the people. It was the during the Great Depression that Nazis became mass movement. When the Great Depression occurred in that period, in that year, Nazi got support or Nazi became a mass movement. As we have seen, after 1929, bank collapsed and businesses shut down. Workers lost their jobs and the middle classes were 
Clayton with the destitution. In such a situation, Nazi propaganda steeped hopes of the better future. Better future. In such situation, the Nazi propaganda given rise of the hopes among the mind of people. In 1929, the Nazi party got no more than 2.6% of votes in the rest than the German parliament. In 1928 general election, Nazi party got only the 2.6 percent votes in the rest act. The rest act, it is the German parliament. But in 1932, after four years, in 1932, it had become the largest party along with 37 percent. Means near of 35 percent support goes to the Nazi. How it happened? What things were happened there? So the changes are taken place. 2.6 percent to the Nazi reached to the 37 percent. What were the reasons for it? He captured the minds of the people. How he captured the minds of the people? How people started to support him? That we will see here. The Nazi propaganda still hopes of better better future. The Nazi Propaganda, propaganda, the way of spreading message. How it was? Hitler was powerful and effective speaker. Hitler was a very strong speaker, powerful speaker and effective. People were liking to listen to him. His passion and his words moved people. Due to his passions and his words, people rallied along Assad to the Hitler. He promised to build a strong nation. Hitler promised to building a strong nation where all would get employment. The employment problem was there. So it would remove. He promised to the people, I will remove it. Will. He promised to build a strong nation because after the First World War, the international, international countries, the allied countries weakened Germany. So here he promised it to the people, I will make our nation strong. What unjust has taken place at Versailles City, I will undo with all that Versailles City and restore of the restore the dignity of German people. I'll restore the dignity of German people. He promised an employment for those looking for work and secure future for youth. He promised to weed out foreign influence and resist all foreign conspiracies against Germany. These were the promises, these were the words used by the Hitler to capture the minds of people and people started to believe in his words. Hitler devised a new style of politics, devised and invented. What of a style of politics he devised? He understood the significance of rituals and spectacle in a mass mobilization. Nazi held massive rallies and public meetings to demonstrate the support for Hitler and instill a sense of unity among the people. He inculcated in the minds of people about the sense of unity. He used the red banners with the swastika, the Nazi salute and the ritualized rounds of applause after the speeches were all part of the spectacle of power. So in this way, he gathered the support of the people. He captured the mind of the people. Nazi propaganda skillfully projected Hitler as a messiah. Due to this Nazi propaganda, they projected, they focused as to the Hitler as a messiah, a savior who will save to the country, who will save to the all people from all suffering. A savior, as savior means, as someone who had arrived to deliver people from their distress. It is an image that captured the imagination of the people whose sense of dignity and pride had been shattered. People's, people who were living in the Germany, their dignity and pride was shattered after the First World War, due to the First World War. So people were looking in a hope one should come there and make relief from the, this all suffering. And these people we seen this all 
abilities in the hitler that is why people started to believe started to support to the hitler for his all acts all activities all actions what he inculcated what he made in the germany and who were living in the time of acute economic and political crisis the people were living in the acute economic and political crisis so in every field there was a, there were crises and people were looking for the better solution and the solution came in the form of hitler and people started to believe in him here in this video we have seen how hitler rose to the power in the next video we will discuss the destruction of democracy after coming in a power what actions he had done how he become the dictator the great dictator in the world that we will see in the next video till bye